welcome to Growth in the Gospel. And uh, I wanted to create these videos just to be an encouragement, first of all, to our church, but also to any other uh, believers that and uh, others that watch. And um, and so I, I, I wanted to come up with a catchy name. And so um, Growth uh, in the Gospel is, is the name that um, uh, we are going with. And we want to help other people grow in God's Word and use it as daily encouragement. And uh, we'll do the best we can. I'll do the best we, I can to post every single day. Um, I may miss a day here and there, but we'll miss uh, at least a uh, post uh, five days of the week, Monday through Friday. And um, we'd love to hear your comments. Uh, we'd love for you to like and subscribe. And uh, we're going to create a, uh, uh, put on our church Facebook page. And um, it's going to come up every single week um, on there. And then as well as it'll be posted on its own um, regular page too. But I want to share with you something that God has burdened me about and God has kind of spoken to me about, especially in the time uh, that we're living in today. Um, there are some crazy times and um, the, the political side of things and um, the, the way that our nation is going and the way that even some believers are going. And, um, and so I want to encourage you the, to look at what the main goal is of a believer. The main goal is a believer because if we don't have this right, nothing is right. The uh, Bible tells us that um, we have to have the right foundation to begin rightly. And that foundation is Jesus Christ. But with that being said, in Acts chapter 1, and uh, the very middle of the chapter, or kind of towards the very beginning, uh, we know that Jesus is about to ascend back into heaven. And his disciples asked up basically, um, in verse 6, they said, Wilt thou at this time restore again the kingdom to Israel? But notice what Jesus says. He doesn't address um, that question. He says, and he said to them, It is not for you to know the times or the seasons which the Father hath put in his own power. But, and then he goes on, he says, This is what I want you to focus upon. But ye shall receive power. After that, the Holy Ghost has come upon you. And you shall be witnesses unto me, both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and in Samaria and unto the uttermost part of the earth. So let me tell you this, something that we are lacking and something that the Lord has really been speaking to me about that I'm lacking in is the fact that I need to promote Jesus above all else. And it doesn't matter what's going to come next because we know that Jesus is in control. We know that he wins in the end. And so in doing so, I need to tell people about Jesus because what I do have is I have the power of the Holy Spirit. I have the power of the Holy Spirit to tell people about what Jesus has done in my life. And you, if you have placed your faith and trust in Jesus Christ um, for uh, a relationship and for your way to heaven, then you know that you have the Holy Spirit living inside of you. And he is wanting to give you the opportunities to present the gospel to other people. But oftentimes we neglect that power that the Holy Spirit has given you. And we feel like we have to promote something else or we end up going and putting all of our time and energy in, in something that is only temporal. But let me tell you this. This life, yes, will die, but our souls are eternal. And I don't know about you, but I don't want people to spend an eternity not with Jesus, but in a place of torment and pain, a place of hell. And so the whole point of growth in the gospel is to promote Jesus above all else. It's to promote everything about Jesus and what the Bible stands and says about him and what we can glean from him. And so I wanted to at least give you this first episode, first video, whatever you want to call it. I wanted to tell you that basically, guess what? It doesn't matter when God's coming back again. It doesn't matter what will happen next week. It will not matter what happens with this new presidency. It will not matter what happens in a year or two years from now. What does matter is that we keep Jesus the forefront of all things and promote him above all else. Because if we do not promote him above all else, 
The world will get confused about our priorities. The lost will get confused about who we really love and what we really love most. And in that confusion will cause a lot of chaos. And I know that's caused some chaos in my life. And yes, I love my country. And yes, I, 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 I love uh, different things uh, of this world. I love sports. And yes, I love television and, 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 and shows. And, and yes, I, I love going out and hanging out with friends and, and all these things. But those come secondary to Jesus Christ. And if those conflict with the power of the Holy Spirit to give out the gospel, then I need to change and do something different. Friend, let me encourage you. Analyze your life. Are you giving out the gospel like you're supposed to? Are you promoting it? When people are to go to your social media and even talk to you or at your work, what do you talk about most? Do you talk about politics and sports? Do you talk about your job, your friends, the latest TV shows and movies? Maybe none of that really applies to you and, and you're upset with what you see in the world, what we should be more upset about is that people are dying and going to hell. And I want the Lord to use me. And yes, I fail. Yes, we're going to fail. But God's grace, he's going to help me along the way. I can't wait to go along this journey with you all. Growth in the gospel or growth from the gospel, either or. And I want to I encourage you, make this a, a daily part of your life. Make Jesus Christ the center of everything that you do. Because from that, from him being the center, everything flows out of that. Not politics, not sports, not your job, not money, not influence, not fame, but Jesus. And Jesus was right here with his, with his apostles. Jesus when are you coming back? Are you going to restore the physical kingdom of Israel? And Jesus says, nope, it's not for you to know when that's going to happen. And you know what? The end times, we can speculate all we want. We can try to read the signs and we can get caught up and so messed up in it. But guess what? No man will know except God Almighty himself. I just want to be ready for it. And I want other peoples to be ready for it. Other people, other people, groups, other ethnicities, all of them to be ready for the coming of Jesus Christ. Because if I didn't do my job, then I have to answer for that. And if you don't do your job as a believer, you have to answer for that. So let me encourage you. Make Jesus the center of your life. And he will transform everything that you think about, that you do, that you say, and everything that you're about. Jesus will transform you if you make him the center of your life. Yeah, you will fail. That's fine. Jesus will be there to pick you up along the way. But let me tell you this, everything else that we hold so dear will burn. It'll be torn down one day. It'll be gone. But Jesus will still be there. And friend, if you're placing um, you know, your thoughts and, and, and time and energy into something outside of Jesus, first and foremost, then you've missed the mark. You've missed the mark. And as a believer, we have to tell people about Jesus. Not because it's a have to, but it's because what Jesus has done inside of us. What Jesus has done inside of me. I have to tell people that. To know the truth and not tell people. So how would it be for you? Are you going to make Jesus the center of your life? I encourage you, come along the journey in growth in the gospel as we make Jesus center of everything. Thank you for listening. Thank you for paying attention. Please like and share this video. And we'll see you tomorrow. God bless.